Hi everybody, Miss Hudson here. I'm gonna read you a, a story from Women in Science, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World, written and illustrated by Rachel Ignatovsky. Today I'm gonna read to you about Hedy Lamarr, who was an inventor and a film actress. You may already know that Hedy Lamarr was an actress during Hollywood's golden age, who was called the most beautiful woman in the world. But unbeknownst to most, she was also a genius inventor. Hedy was born Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler in 1914 in Vienna, Austria. She dreamed of being an actress and made it a reality. When her controlling millionaire husband, Fritz Mandel, wanted to put an end to her acting career, she left him and fled to Paris and later London. There she met Louis B. Mayer, a big time film producer who later gave her an acting contract from MGM and a new name. Hetty also had a secret workshop where she tinkered with inventions. During World War II, the National Inventors Council asked civilians to submit ideas. Hetty identified a problem she thought she could fix. The US Navy's radio guided torpedoes were easy to signal jam, which caused them to go off course. At a dinner party, she met George Antheil, an avant-garde composer. Together, they realized a radio signal could change frequencies using the same technology a player piano uses to change notes. The signal would be impossible to jam. Hetty was so excited, she wrote her number in, lip in lipstick on his car window and immediately got to work. Working together, they developed the Frequency Hopping Spread Spectrum, FHSS. They received a patent in 1942, but the US military shelved her idea. Disheartened, but still patriotic, Hetty used her fame to raise millions of dollars in war bonds. It wasn't until the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 that the military realized FHSS was a gold mine. Hetty's technology was used to control torpedoes and communication. FHSS is especially useful for communication between multiple electronic devices. It's the foundation for the technology we now use every day with our smartphones, GPS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth devices. Although the patent had expired by the time FHSS was used, Hetty won many awards while she was alive and was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014, 14 years after her death. Thanks for reading with me today about Hetty Lamar, and you can probably find out more about her on the internet. Bye-bye for now.